Eric, we recently did a case study at 2G Tooling where they'd installed uh, one of your Ibami A machines, which led to uh, quite a few inquiries, I believe, and one of the reasons you bought this machine here. It is true. We actually, the original machine was due for stock anyway, but the customer took advantage of the quicker delivery. And uh, as you saw in the video, he's delighted with the machine and the performance. Yeah, now t tell us about Ibami A, because you've been doing this now for, what, 18 months, two years since you've had the agency, and it's, it's been, even through troubled times, you've done well with it. That's true. I mean, we started just before the COVID lockdown, which couldn't have been worse timing, really. But uh, luckily, we've had a lot of inquiries. Uh, the customers that have seen the machines are, are fairly new to the UK because they've not really been pushed that hard in the past. Uh, I've been very pleased with the um, value for money and the performance of the machines. So tell us about this model behind us here, because this one is in stock, as you said. Uh, it seems like you can do quite a lot with this machine, can't you? Yeah, I mean, we call it the Swiss Army type uh, machine, really. It's got the uh, fifth axis table in there, three axis milling, a B axis on the head, so it's very, very uh, flexible and very capable. Now, one of the things that 2G didn't have at the time was the partition, which enables you to do pendulum machining, doesn't it? Quite an advantage to be able to be set in one side while one side's going. It's almost like a twin pallet, isn't it? It is, really. I mean, that suited uh, 2G because they're doing big mold tools, so they didn't really need the, the pendulum facility. But if you're running a machine, one side can be doing a, a pre alp component the other side can be doing a five axis component so um, effectively the software treats it as two machines in that mode as soon as the, the partition guard is put in place. Now there's two areas I want to explore on the machine and the, the first one would be the build of it because I've been around the back yeah. and it's quite um, it's quite evident to see that there's a the way it's constructed is done so in order to support the RAM extensively isn't it? Well it is actually it hasn't got a RAM it's got a fixed head situation so um, this type of machine can often suffer from the RAM being extended and then having droop on the geometry of the machine. So uh, this gets over it in that design that Avami are pretty, uh, I would say, pretty unique with it uh, on the market. And so your, your X and your Y is basically all move, is moving from one piece at the back, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And I'm sure at some point you can do a bit of video around there and see and explain to the customers how it all works. How it works, yeah. And no. the, the other point I was going to make is that all the axes are fitted with linear scale, so we've got incredibly good accuracy and repeatability. And is that on the rotary as well, or is that yeah, just all, on? Yeah, all rotary axes, including the fifth axis table and the head, have got uh, rotary scales on there, so they're all completely covered from a feedback point of view. And my second point was going to be your spindle power, because in the industries where you're going to be having maybe heavier duty components, potentially like this machine, you do need a lot of torque, and you have that, don't you? You score quite highly there, not just on the spindle, but on the rotary axis too. That's true, yes. Um, Obama have done a lot of R&D, getting a lot of power from their built-in drive system. This particular machine is uh, 40 taper or HSK 63. Uh, that's 15,000 RPM, but it's got um, a 27 kilowatt continuous power spindle. It, on intermittent use, it's 39 kilowatt. On the bigger BT50 size taper, we're up to 75 kilowatt on, wow, the, con on well the intermittent use, yeah. Yeah, now then this rotary table, you can turn with this as well, can't you? And this is something that you know, has won use in business recently too. It has. Um, the option is uh, it's a turning option that you can go up to a 1200 diameter table. And actually on the 1200 table we can swing 1750 for turning. So that gives you a lot of flexibility and huge workpiece. So you could essentially have a vertical lathe here one side and then a, a fixed table here doing sort of prismatic machine in the other, couldn't you? That's total flexibility. Well, actually, there's even more flexibility. We've recently taken an order where a customer has got a horizontal lathe headstock on the left-hand side, the vertical lathe heads, uh, facility on the right-hand side. So he's got a metre swing lathe on one side of the machine and the vertical lathe on the other end and a six metre between centres capability. <laughs> And the machine here has a hiding hand, but I believe you've, you've recently won another order where you've supplied the machine with a fanet control, so there's quite a few options there. Yeah, they're very flexible in that score. Um, this, as you say, has got hide and hide five axis control, but we can also offer the 31i fanet fully five axis and also the Siemens 840D five axis system. And one additional point, hybrid, we've, we've spoken about multitasking, but you can also have these machines with the 3D printing laser metal deposition on them as well, can't you? So there's not a lot they haven't thought about. No, I mean, they're looking at every potential aspect of the machine that can give the customer the flexibility he needs. You know, in a, in, especially in a subcontract environment, you do need to be able to fit in with anybody's uh, requirements. And with 65 years of heritage, a business has got a lot of experience in making machine tools. 
we haven't seen much of these in the UK before you took them on, Eric. I mean, it's, but they're big around the world, aren't they? Yeah, they've been incredibly successful, of course, throughout Europe, but uh, more recently in the USA, uh, hence the use of the FANUC uh, control extensively in the range. Uh, obviously, we want to make that the case in the UK as well. OK, two models here that we're talking about, which is the STAR model. Can you just quickly explain what that means and you know, what people can capitalise on the fact that this machine's in stock? Well, obviously, Ibamia do a lot of bespoke packages for customers, but their idea was to build a machine that was straight out of the box with pretty much everything you need. The STAR was the name they gave it, and they do a 1500X travel machine. This is the 3000X travel, but they all come with a B-axis head, the rotary table, and again, the choice of the three controls, through spindle coolant, swarf conveyor, linear scales, all that is standard on this machine. And, at, and uh, sorry, it's at quite a reasonable price. And at quite yeah. a reasonable, and how quickly could you deliver something like this? Well, this Eric? one, you could have it next week if you need it. So.